Now entering Nerdist.com. Man and Man, Man and Man, Deep Body Podcast. Myra Gorley, Gorley, Myra. James Bondy Podcast, it's the 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 James Bondy Podcast, Bondy Podcast with Matthews Myra and Gorley. Matthews Gorley and Myra Podcast of James Bond. Matthews Gorley and Myra Podcast of James Bond. James Bond Big Podcast, James Bond Big Podcast, James Bond Big Podcast, James Bond Big Podcast, Matt and Matt, Matt and Matt, James Bond Big Podcast. Wow. What? That's amazing. That comes to us from Paul and Storm. That is Isn't that incredible. Fucking delightful. Those guys are amazing. Paul and Storm, you guys are great. You're going to be on at midnight soon. I'll see you guys then. I'll have to get you like a present for doing that. That was yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. That was really That delighted me. That was this is you're hearing the first reaction to that. Me yeah. hearing that. He sent that to me out of the blue. That lovable guy, Paul. God. <sighs> Paul's a good guy. Storm's a good guy. Yeah. They harmonize together and make yeah. magic. Check out their stuff. It's um, interesting because I was listening to it. I was like, wow, this sounds professional. Yeah. Well, and of course, is. it was. It is. Uh, hey, we're back. We are here. And we're not only are we energized, we're about uh, to get a little, little bit more, more energized. Yeah. Well, one of us anyway is because I'm eating a meal from 1910 <laughs> and Matt's eating one from 2033. <laughs> Mine is pure lemon leaf iced tea yep. and a cheese stick. Yeah, sure. Why don't you tell them what kind of cheese? You gotta. You oh, gotta... It's Borden Pepper Jack Queso Blanco Con Hapolino. And uh, I am enjoying a uh, Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar. Uh-huh. It's original peanut yeah. butter cream. Uh-huh. Uh, guys, I'm going to tell you, it's got only 5 grams of sugar uh, and 13 grams of protein in here with only 10 carbs. So... It's really good for low carbage. And uh, also drinking a Rockstar Zero Carb. No carbs in that whatsoever. Uh, and I'm about to down a five hour energy lemon lime. So let me get this straight. Uh-huh. You, you, as I'm watching right now, is just downing yeah. uh, a, a, an, energy an energy drink. shot. Five hours. You just got all five hour in one go. Oh. And now you're going to add uh, another 2.5 with oh. that monster drink. You don't even know. This could have 12 hours. We're not sure. The human physiology can only take eight hours of energy. Well, you're, you're getting I feel like, you know, when James Bond gets close. on that traction machine and Thunderball, that's how I feel. I feel like I can take it. Yeah. I feel like I can take it. I think it's going to be more like uh, the silly Klaus Maria Brandauer on the electronic uh, <laughs> nuclear missile game. Uh, yeah, welcome back to James Bonding. We've been off for, I'm going to say, maybe two months, right? Oh, six it feels years. Like, more like, it let feels me like, take a bite of my Limburger cheese. Yeah, go for it. It feels like, mm-hmm. it feels like 20 years, but uh, we were supposed to record a couple of weekends ago, and then Matt had to go sell Volkswagens. I'm sorry. Which we understand. It's a, it's a fine vehicle over there. At, at Volkswagen, yeah, many different ones. Many. Well, you've oh. got your Tiguan. You've got your Jetta. You've got your Passat TDI clean diesel. Oh, uh, I'm going to get pretty good gas mileage on that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> do you know uh, man, how, how good? Of course I do. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for keeping it to yourself. I yeah. don't want everyone to get excited and run out and. Well, I don't want to spoil the commercials. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's really. It's good that you don't spoil the commercials, which I've never seen with sound. <laughs> <laughs> but. A visually, I have visual confirmation that they exist because it, chances are, if you're out and about, and there's a TV on in a bar or a restaurant, you'll see Matt Gurley pop up. Yeah. yeah, I guess they buy a lot of time during sports. Uh, yeah, apparently, and whatever my dad watches because he sees it a lot. So that would probably be 24 sports, definitely sports. Do you think he yells? To, he to, certainly texts to, hey, me every check time. Check it out. He texts me every my time. My boy's on. Uh, I was out to dinner with my girlfriend's family, uh-huh. and it came on in a restaurant, and they just lit up the place. They made everybody watch, and it was really <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. And yesterday I was filming another one where we, I was telling you this. We yeah. did like close to 20 miles of figure eights in a car, and I have never been more sick in my life. I didn't throw up, but I just <laughs> felt miserable. I still can't turn my head to the side without feeling weird you didn't throw up but you wanted to throw up yeah i uh yesterday was it yesterday i don't remember the days of the week anymore i'm very busy i'm doing a lot of stuff uh i I wish we could just be doing james bondings constantly Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. some scheduling uh doesn't work out so on and so forth but i uh i went to california adventure 
mm. on Sunday. He used to work there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I just I just told everybody about it. And I was <laughs> like, well, listen, guys, I do this James Bond podcast. <laughs> And Matt Gorley used to work in there when it was a soap opera themed Who restaurant. Were you there with? I was there with my girlfriend Dory mm-hmm. and my friend uh, Julia and uh, her uh, fiance Mike. And uh, boy, did I spin a yarn. They were like, So what happened? I was like, Well, you're having dinner, and then all of a sudden you're in a soap opera. <laughs> and it goes a little something. <laughs> a little and you got up and did it. I sure did. Uh, the uh, Muppets 3D, I'm happy to report, uh, holds up. Does it really? Still I didn't up. realize it was still there. Oh, it sure is. It's yeah. not going anywhere. Oh, why would it? There was upwards of 20 people in that theater when oh, I went boy, in. Yeah. Well, that's more than was used to be in the park when yeah. it opened. Do you... Do, when, I don't know why we're... I always talk about Disneyland with you. Should we just do a Disneyland podcast? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Call it Disney Landing. <laughs> <laughs> Head to Disney Landing uh, for all your Disneyland needs. Careful. That's like the old story where will no one bring me the rid me of this Thomas Beckett and they kill him? <laughs> you know, someone's going to make us. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, so we thought we couldn't do Man with Golden Gun. We're, we have it scheduled again to record. We're going, yeah. we're going to be recording it in, in, less than, in less time than it takes to uh, have a 401k mature. Uh, <laughs> what he means to say is July 12th. <laughs> we are recording it on July 12th. Uh, something else is happening on July yes, 12th. Yes, something we'd like you to join us for. Yeah. Uh, in Los Angeles, if you're in the Los Angeles area, uh, they do this fun thing over at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery called Cinespia. Uh, or Cinespia. I haven't quite landed on where we're going with that. Mm, what do you say? Boy, when I see it written, I say Cinespia, but when I want to say it, I want to say Cinespia. Yeah, is it, is it Is it a reference to something? Cinema. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got So I'm going to say Cinespia. Cinespia. That's where I'm going to land on it. I'm going to say Cinespia. Find out if we're wrong on July 12th, where they will be screening Goldfinger. That's right. Yeah. Gold Goldfinger outside in Los Angeles. It'll be a wonderful evening. We're gonna have a picnic. Mm-hmm. Uh, bring your own food. We're not providing food for you. Why don't we try to get there as early as possible and stake a good claim? Yeah, I want to go up front. Okay, I want to get and up then close. We'll tweet where our general vicinity is. Yeah, and come join us. Come, come, get a, gather round. Yeah, let's... we'll work out some sort of uh, Goldfinger drinking game. Uh huh. And uh, we'll just we'll just pound some we'll just pound some good old fashioned. We should booze. make um, Allie and Georgia come and make us booze. Yeah. Oh, we should. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that uh, they want to see that movie again. No, no, Feels no. like they don't. But I just went. So have you ever been? Yes. I had never been until. Oh, uh, it's in a graveyard. Until Did you last mention week. that? Oh yeah, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Yeah, is that it, that's the best part. I mean, it's in a it's in an area where they have yet to sell graves. Well, yeah, but you're surrounded by it on three sides and then a mausoleum on the fourth, I think. Three sides. No, it's it's mausoleum, cemetery, mausoleum, crematory. Oh. The crematory is that building, that okay. industrial-looking building to the left. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's a good time. Yeah. Mel uh, Blanc is buried there. Jack uh, Lemon. Alfalfa. Alfalfa's there. He's yeah. got his hunting dog on the tombstone. Uh-huh. I didn't uh, know Jack Lemon was buried yeah. there. Yeah. Is Douglas? I think Douglas Fairbanks Jr. is buried Correct. there, too. Jack Lemmon's uh, tombstone. A little bit of trivia for you. What do you think it says on there? Mammy. Nope. It just says Jack Lemmon in dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I was there one time in the day with some friends, and it was really creepy. We were just looking at celebrities' graves, and then uh, I swear to God there wasn't a person to be seen, and then we all turned around, and there was just a kid sitting in a tree going, Sometimes my mommy drops me off here while she looks around. What? And we were like, well, you're a ghost. <laughs> Absolutely, you're a ghost. Oh, there's no question about it. Uh, you saw a day ghost. Yeah, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believed in him. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in Beatles. I just believe in me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be at Cine, Cinespia, Cinespia, July 12th uh, for James Bond's Goldfinger. It's the fourth picture in the installments. What are you saying? Fourth picture? What do you mean? Third picture, friend? Oh, but didn't it come out in the fourth? I always get. I always think it's the fourth one. Why do I think it's Maybe the fourth one always? I used to think it was the second because I always because in my brain me. four and then five in my brain five is always Thunderball, and it's not. No, five is you only live twice. God, it's all right. If we're not here, we're so out of to, practice. No, we're, but we're, uh, we're we so got each other's practice. back. I I appreciate you. 
Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, man. Thanks. Hey, it's good to be back. <laughs> It's good to be back, everybody, on Bond Radio K99, K007. Stay tuned for Disney Landing. (laughs) We've got Miss Money Benny in the booth offering support, but no real opinion because this is sexist radio drive time. Yeah, so we couldn't, uh, we couldn't, we couldn't bring you a real regular episode, so we thought we'd do a mission briefing because Mm -hmm. the kids seem to respond to those because it just sounds like you guys just want to hear something. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not nothing all the time. Matt's still working away on his cheese. (laughs) I've been polite and I'm not eating on a podcast. Uh, downstairs, there's some stuff going on. Right now, I'm looking in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery to see if there's any James Bond-related graves. Because mm. um, if there is, we'll meet over there. <laughs> could there be? There could be, absolutely. Hollywood uh, Forever uh, Cemetery. Who would and be? I'm going to type James Bond in. I know I'm probably just going to get uh, James Bond Iver, but uh, let's see. Uh, Peter Lorre. Uh, well, was the go. first actor to play a uh, Bond villain, yeah, obviously. that's pretty and good. he's buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. It's no slouch. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that's all I got so far, guys. Alpha Alpha was a great henchman. <laughs> <laughs> Two, hang he on. was really just Spanky's Felix Leiter. Yes. Richard Maybaum. What? Richard really? Maybaum was buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I'll be damned. Born in New York City, he is best known for his adaptations of Ian Fleming's James Bond spy novels. He was a playwright in Broadway. He made his film debut with We Went to College in 1936, followed by They Gave Him a Gun. From 1962 to 1989, he was the screenwriter for 13 James Bond films. Whoa. So, folks... Is there a James Bond-related grave at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery? You're goddamn right there is. Is it anywhere near where they show the movies? Uh, it is in row A, number 76. Oh, those are good seats. <laughs> uh, wow, that's kind of cool. Is anyone else excited by that? I guess just I me. Am. You know what? Maybe we should go in earlier in the day and pay our respects Well, we are recording that day. Yeah, we are. We could just make a day of it. Yeah, we might just make a day of... Uh, Fun, a fun, sad day. Yeah, we go visit graves, maybe touch some stones. Yeah, should we leave? Is he Jewish? You think we should leave a rock on his tomb? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. and then just like a kiss it with some lipstick, like they do to Oscar Wilde oh. at Jim Morrison's grave. Should we ever? Yeah, you think Oscar Wilde's enjoying the lipstick? I feel like he's not. You don't. If anyone, <laughs> well, true. Come on. Touche. Yeah. Touche. Uh, so since we've been gone. Uh, by Kelly Clarkson is our favorite song. Yeah. Uh, but there has been some James Bond uh, news, and uh, we're here to report on it, uh, just because we have nothing else to talk about. Uh, but, interesting article I sent to you earlier in the day. I don't know if you actually read it or anything. Honey, I have it right here oh. on my Euler phone. Well, here's perhaps, perhaps some of the biggest complaints we hear about uh, Daniel Craig's James Bond is a lot like the complaints people say about Chris Nolan's Batman, mm-hmm. and that is that there's a there's no there's no funny haha. It's a little too serious. Hmm. Daniel Craig wants to bring some of that James Bond irony back. Uh, did you read that full nope. article? See, I, nope. I don't know that you I got it. Read right, the <laughs> I read the full article that you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you read it because I didn't. Thank God, In again, the end, he's got me. It comes around to saying what they interpret his quote. Uh, as is saying... Well, we can interpret it ourselves. More like a Casino Royale style. Because he's saying he wants some of that irony in there, but he's not good at the kind of quips and one-liners. Yeah, but he doesn't have to do it. Yeah. He doesn't have to provide it. I'm with him. I don't think he should. Uh, um, I feel like Ray Fiennes is very funny. <laughs> yeah, very dry. He would do that well. Here's the quote. Hopefully we'll reclaim some of the old irony and make sure it doesn't become pastiche. I can't do shtick. I'm not very good at it, unless it's kind of suddenly makes sense. Does that make sense? I sometimes wish I hammed it up more, but I just can't do it very well, so I don't do it. I thought Casino Royale was the perfect tone. Perfect balance. Skyfall got a it's little It's a perfect shticky. movie. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean when you say Skyfall got shticky? Well, you know I had a problem with one of those last lines of, uh, I got in, what did he say, I, I got in deep water, what did he say? Uh... Uh, right after knifing, someone. I just fell into some frozen water. That's it. Yeah, that, all the way up that here. old pun. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, Bonk, you're all wet. <laughs> What does he say? I got into some uh, water. It was a great time. Yeah, uh, thanks that? for not dying yet. Um, God, we are so out of just... When was the last time you popped in a James Bond movie? Well, I'll tell you this. It? I have yet to tell you this. Uh, so um, they're restoring the James Bond movies for 4K now. Oh, boy. Hold on. You don't have to oh buy boy. them. And I'll tell you why. Oh, boy. Through a friend, I got invited to a screening of the final mastering sessions of them in a private screening room. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't. This is like a. This is like a. Do 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 do. Hey, Matt. Guess what? Well, I'll tell you what. I've been told I can come tomorrow, so I was going to surprise you. Oh, is this the surprise? Yeah. Well, I don't have a date yet for the next one because they haven't sent them to me. So I saw Living Daylights in 4K restoration. (laughs) It was the one they were doing. (laughs) That's but great. it's amazing because there's these three or four people in there that are telling you everything about the process they're doing, and they're working on it. But they're not releasing them in 4K because they said that 8K is so quickly around the corner, they're not even going to bother. This is for France. For some reason, France wants to broadcast them in 4K. But they're not going to release uh, hard media releases of that until it's 8K. That's him eating this time, not me. Although I'll say it's more pleasant to hear a crunch than a... <laughs> <laughs> So, is France paying for all 23 of them to get... I'm sure they're going to use them elsewhere, but they just said that that's where they were going. That was the I only... I feel like I have better it. questions for these people than you did. What? Why Why start all right. this way? Here's the answer. You Here's don't even what, know what my I'm going to ask you a question. My questions are like, I'm going to ask you a question. <gasps> is that Can color you? blue? <laughs> it's so vibrant. <laughs> These what are, is it... Here's a question that I would ask them. Is it easier to get a 4K... Uh, is it just up Is it a matter of up What are they doing? How uh, are they getting 4,000 lines of resolution? Not, I, I, what I believe is they're not up their Blu-ray versions of it. They're taking again from the, the, from the negative. negative. And they're going to have to do that with 8K because apparently in Japan they're already just watching 8K things around town. Japan's so good at everything. No, It's just all you soccer. have to do is not be able to form a military and you can do all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> That sounds like a good (laughs) trade-off. We're going to get political sometimes here on James Bonding, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you know, they are no longer allowed to have a military because of that whole war that happened earlier. Yeah. Which I believe was the French... Uh, French and Indian War. Uh They're no... Oh, Red Sox were head 2 nothing. Good to know. Um, So anyway, I'm really curious to where they're going with this new James Bond movie. As far as, uh, you know, the rumors of Penelope Cruz playing the new villain, the, not villain, but Bond woman. Question on that is, uh, do you think they're going to go with someone that we know? Well, I don't. No, I think the only substantiated rumors are that they're looking for uh, a Scandinavian woman and an English woman. And they've been screen testing Scandinavian women. Have you seen that news? No, I haven't seen that Where news. have you been? You're just sending me the, the, the like, fanboy rumors. I'm just sending you whatever I can send you. Go because... to CommanderBond.net. <laughs> oh, your source for all James Bond news, yeah. Commander Bond, uh, dot net. Should we just buy them the dot com? I, I think. Could they not? <laughs> How did they not get? Could that? they not squeeze that out? Is someone uh, squatting on that? What's happening? <laughs> I just typed in dot com. This domain may be for sale. Click here to require. Guys, uh, let's do a Kickstarter for them to raise the monies to buy the dot com. Uh, here we are, Commander Bond dot net. Uh, yeah, just go to uh, Happy 106. Like a... We did just miss Ian Fleming's 106th birthday. Oh, I have an announcement as well. Oh no, <laughs> I'll be doing Dead Authors as Ian Fleming, and you know what's best? I'm having a powder blue terry cloth playsuit made for me. <laughs> a short pant, one piece, short sleeve swimming playsuit. It's called a playsuit, apparently. It's currently being made for me. Uh, let me get you the date on this. I feel like this is something, again, I should have known about. <laughs> I've done Ian Fleming for Dead Authors before, but it was a double author the night, the way he used to do it, and the recording yeah. didn't turn out that yeah. well. Well, so I don't want a double author night. I'm coming back. I want a single author night. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on September 5th, I'll be doing Ian Fleming for the Dead Authors podcast at UCB with Paul F. Tompkins. Paul books that far out. He does, yeah. He, he wanted to get it all done. Wow. I was going to do it this month, but I didn't have the uh, the deal made. 
the uh, this, the play this suit. suit. <laughs> I think we both wanted to wait for the play suit. You're both right. There should be a uh, like Bond twenty four segment on our chat, a little like a like a there. like a like a thing I can click on. Yeah, like Bond twenty four news. But they've been screen testing Scandinavian ladies left and right. Well, listen, yeah. Kate O'Mara died. Who's that? Former Bond girl and Dynasty actress. She was 74 years what old. What Bond girl was she? Uh, that's a great question. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Hey, do we want to answer some questions on this round? Because I can put it out to Twitter. They're not going to help us at all. They, don't, they forgot we existed. I forgot we existed. That's not true. I mentioned today that we were recording and they let up. Upwards of no people responded. That's not true, friend. I haven't been on Twitter all day. Is that weird? No, it's healthy. <laughs> I appreciate your your enthusiasm. Kate O'Mara, I don't know what movie you were in. I'm going to look it up right now. I call her Late O'Mara, getting the same results. (laughs) 1939 in Lancaster Lecture... She was in a lot of a lot of Doctor Who. Nineteen episodes of uh, Dynasty, but we don't know what Bond girl. Huh? Welcome to Japan, Mister Bond. <laughs> so she must have been in You Only Live Twice, uh, right? Yeah. Oh, she's not. She's not the Helga Brandt girl, is she? I don't care for this. Hey, I've got something else that goes way back to the early inception of our podcast. Um, Go. Wonderful listener Luke Hayward sent in the final, what I consider to be the final word on the pronunciation of (laughs) man. And I'll tell you why. Yes, go ahead. Okay, this is the, um, one second. This is the Cambridge Dictionary. Okay. And it has... So far, I'm on board. ...the written and aural pronunciation of the UK and US versions of the word ma'am. M-A apostrophe A-M. Yep. Here is the United States pronunciation. Yes, go. Please hold. <laughs> is this still up? Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. Very clear, right? I did it. I did it. All I right. nailed it. I nailed it. Here we go. That. UK. I got the part. Mom. Ma'am. Mom. Mm, I don't like it. It's it's solved. Nope. Honey. It's not solved. solved. Yes. Not solved. What, what are you talking about? Listen to that again. Liking, Play it again. Play it again. It's ma'am and mom. Listen. Here's ma'am. Ma'am. Mm-hmm. Here's mom. Mm-hmm. Mom. Now here's how I would spell that. M A L M. That's fine. Okay. Follow up mom. from Matt Myra. They're not saying mum. No, but even in the movie they're not exactly saying mum. No, they mom. they're saying mum. 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 No. No. And that that's too negligible person to person. This solves it for me. The English people are right. It's their way of saying it. I know it's their word. They invented the language and, you know. Also, listen to the definition. Yes, please. In Britain, Uh used to address the queen or a woman of high rank in particular organizations such as the army or the police. You can't get any more clear. In the past, when talking to a woman of higher social class, mom. Fine. There. I will relent. Wait, what was that? Next what order that, of business. What is that episode? What is that website? Uh, MattGorley.com. Oh, that's not a that's not a great source. Uh, it's not a great source for anything. <laughs> Hold on, it is uh, Cambridge Dictionaries. All right, sounds official. Is there a MattGorley.com? Uh, yeah, but it's not anything. It's old. 
I'm going to take a look right now at MacGorley.com. I have, a friend set it up for me for my birthday, and I've never done a thing with Sites it. Sites in flux? Hey, listen, at least yeah. you own it. Have you ever seen what happens when you go to MattMyra.com? Is it uh, someone sniped it when you were done? Check this out. Ready? MattMyra.com. You just hit uh, You just hit enter right here. Yeah. Brings you to a Google search of cat pizza. How is that? Yeah, someone bought the domain and then rerouted it to that. Just to screw with you? I, I don't hate that. <laughs> well, well, no. Why would you? But don't you want your own domain? I don't One care. One day when you run for office? I don't care. Oh. I, I, don't, think, I don't do anything with mine either. I feel like I said as a joke on the Nerdist podcast once that mattmyra.com should just go to a Google search of cat uh. pizza, and then someone did it. Or, I never said that, and this person's a genius. <laughs> either way. Either way, they're a genius. All right, what were you looking up? Would you eat this? Cat pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> just showed uh, Matt uh, Gorley. Uh, fuck yeah, pizzacats.tumblr.com has a great collection of cat pizza. <laughs> and uh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is the best website I've ever seen in my life. Fuck yeah, pizza cats. It's, it's an entire website dedicated to cat shaped pizza. Uh, and uh, really just, oh my god, cat nip pizza. Guys. I am delighted. Oh, my James Bond uh, money clip uh, broke. Oh, yeah. oh man. I'm sorry. Or I got a new one on the way. Don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry. I got a new one on the way. That's good. Will you send me a link to that thing? I want to get one of those, too. Sure, I will. All right. Whitney Reynolds on Twitter asks, where does one commission a powder blue terry cloth play suit? Wait, how did she know that? I just, I just, oh, I, I've tweeted about it before that I was having it made. Oh. I should um, really follow you on Twitter. What's your name? You do. <laughs> you you know do. It. You follow me in real life, you too. You do. Uh, from your girlfriend's really talented sister. Um, what? <laughs> that's, that's where you get it? Oh, from you your girlfriend's. Yeah, well, I got the, um, there's really a pattern sister. on Etsy, a vintage pattern. For a play suit? Yeah. In fact, Google uh, powder blue men's play suit. <laughs> Uh, powder blue men's play suit. It just goes to a bunch of Google images of me eating pizza. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Oh, my God. Of course. You know, you have James right yeah, there. I'll put in Etsy in that, too, because it probably won't come up right away. Uh, I'm going to have to I'm gonna type Etsy in here. I mean, I don't understand why you're not, like, just buying one. You need it to be terry cloth. I get it. Yeah, and th- they're not readily available. Popular items for powder blue on Etsy. I'm going to just click. That's, I'm clicking. that's probably it. I'm clicking. It'll show up. Summer jumpsuit. Nope, it's a lot of lady stuff here. Yeah. A lot of lady It'll stuff. A lot of lady It'll stuff. A lot of lady stuff. Lots of lady stuff. Go back and go to that first link. Go back and go to the first link, which is going to bring me to powder blue items. Yeah. yeah. So you think it's going to be here? Well, to type into this in the search bar, men's play suit. <laughs> really? The title alone. Men's play suit. Yeah. Here it is. Nothing. Well, I guess because I bought it. You bought the one pattern? They it, couldn't the, make the a copy of the pattern? The one pattern. You buy it on... It's even... It's, oh, there it is. There it is. That's the one. Plus size. Any size. Vintage. Yeah. That's going to be real good. Oh, my God. It's going to be great. Oh, my God. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to read this to you. I found a gorgeous, out-of-print, out-of-copyright vintage pattern book from the 1950s. It's just too beautiful not to share. I agree. Uh, so this is just a pattern. It's a drafting system. Once you own this, you can draft yourself a pattern in any size, from 20-inch bust to 69 bust. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you want the garment for a doll or a plus-size person, you'll be able to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> you just bought something that is for a doll, <laughs> and you're gonna put it on. Well, I- I'm a doll. Isn't that what Ken's wearing in um, in in uh, Toy Story Three, the Ken doll? I've never seen Toy Story Three. Well, you should. It's great. I've heard that. Uh, anyone else? Can you back me up on this hair though? Yep. He thumbs up. I'm getting a thumbs okay. up. I'm into that. Uh, we got we got more questions coming in. I, yeah, I just um, saw one come in. Go ahead. Amazing Steve writes, banned Bond commentaries found. Any thoughts? Heard them already? 
I did listen oh, to. Oh yeah, I listened to Doctor No, and I didn't find it that different than the uh, the regular commissioned ones. I know that there's supposed to be some juicy bits in there. I think Peter Hunt says something like Connery could fuck any girl in the bar or something like that. He's not surprising anybody. But I didn't get any real new information out of him. No new nuggets? No. Uh, best bo- best Blofeld, Luke94 wants to know. Donald Pleasance. Yeah, both Telly Savalas is uh, uh, pretty good, too. You know, I was watching Game of Thrones, and I thought how good... I've chosen who my oh. favorite, my new Blofeld would be. Charles Dance. Peter Dinklage? Oh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> no, Charles Dance. He's so good. Dance, magic, dance. What are your favorite John Barry scores, asks Andrew Rostan, both for Bond and for other movies? Oh. Uh, I love Honor Majesty's Secret Service and View to a Kill. Yeah, you do. And I love the score to the black hole. Uh, mm, yeah. Yep. Honor Magic Secret Service is probably the best. It's so good. Um, <laughs> uh, Single worst moment in the entire series. That's a good question. <laughs> that comes from Jesse Howard. Single worst moment. It's not that hard to answer. Wow, let me think of those Brosnan. There's two. There's two moments I'm thinking of, and they're both in Pierce Brosnan movies, but they're both in different Pierce Brosnan movies. Hmm. Well, the, I want to see the, where you land on this. I, I think I'm with you on one. The mm. Christmas Correct. line is probably it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think there's some pretty bad moments in the others, too. What's yours? The one I'm thinking of is uh, the moment of the CG uh, Pierce Brosnan mm. surfing his way down yeah, a glacier. I think, you, I think you really nailed it yeah. with both of those. <laughs> those are those are atrocious moments. Yeah, I can't, I'd be hard pressed to think of anything worse than those. Um, the slide whistle on the... Well, let's talk about okay, let's pull it, let's pull it back. Let's go to every single Bond, the worst moments. Oh, great idea. Roger Moore. Worst and best. Oh... I like I like where your head's at right now. Okay, so you want to you want to start in order. So why don't we start? Yeah, okay, so let's go back to the Connery times. Okay, and let's start. We're starting. We're starting with Sean Connery. Worst moment in a Sean Connery James Bond movie. The thing that immediately the comes most to cringy mind moment for me. Go. I'll oh, go ahead. Is you. Asian Sean Connery. I'm in the same movie. Okay. Cringy. The cringiest moment for me is Tanaka. <laughs> Tiger Tanaka yeah. saying that uh, in Japan <laughs> men come first. <laughs> Bond in Japan men come first, Mister Bond. <laughs> and uh, Bond's uh women come second, and sometimes not at all. Oh, um, does he say that? Uh, the I might have tagged oh. it in my head, but uh, yeah, these are just off the top of our heads. But the, if I if I that's what I'd have to say is when he's waiting to get married and he's all slouched over. I'm gonna I'm hair. gonna go ahead and play the Tanaka's. Tanaka's house scene, okay. which is exactly what I'm talking about, and I believe it's what you're talking about as well. Well, I mean, he does get all... Same idea. Yeah. Uh, this video uploaded by somebody uh, who wasn't counting on advertising revenue. I remember 408 views. watching um, Goldfinger get sucked out of the plane as a kid going, that looks really ridiculous. That's how it would happen. But I know, but... Consider my house yours, including all of my possessions, naturally. All of his possessions. I remember liking You Only Live Twice more than I had thought I would. Now you take your first civilized bath. Really? Well, I like the plumbing. Place yourself in time. Sort of vaginas. Rule number one is never do anything for yourself when someone else can do it for you. Even your dialogue. Rule number two in Japan, men always come first, women come second. I might just retire to here. <laughs> I'm that sexist. I might just retire to here. All right, best moment in a Connery. Best moment in a Connor in a Connery movie has to be. I know it. Oh, interesting. I know mine. It may oh, be the, now you get me. Maybe one of the best double thinking of here. Any Bond movie ever. Uh, okay, okay. Hang on, I'm I'm running I'm rack I'm running through the in my brain right now to find the best moment the best moment very the most simple. 
very simple. You're so confident in how simple it is. It's everything. All right. All right. It's his first Bond, James Bond, when they reveal oh, his face. Oh, well, of the course. Music. Oh, that's got to be great. Yeah. But the, what's the most? What's the best Bondian moment? I mean, that's obviously okay. the Bondian moment. But all right. Um, like the time when he does something that you're like, oh yeah, that's James Bond. For me, yeah, it's again in Doctor No. It's 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 the whole the whole scene at the uh, house. Of that girl, where he's waiting oh, for playing solitaire, and then he kills he's playing him. solitaire, yeah. drinking vodka and uh, cold blooded murders. I like the helicopter shot scene from You Only Live Twice. The big fight on the rooftop. That's oh, that is really take. cool. Yeah, that is a really cool scene. All right. Uh, so we have our worst and best for Connery. Let's go to. We're Lazenby. moving on to Mister George Lazenby. Not a not a ton to choose from. Uh, cringiest moment in that. Worst moment in that movie has got to be this never happened to the yeah, other fella. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Best moment in that God, there's so many. Mm. I think I think his uh, performance at the end when Tracy dies. Uh, yeah, not me. I don't know. Or when he kicks his feet up and starts reading the Playboy while that safe's getting cracked. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Boy, best moment for him. I, don't, I like that whole ski, ski sequence. The ski sequence is great. I'll go with that. The racist dinner is pretty cringy, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty I'll rough. just call it the racist dinner. Please do. Because it's extraordinarily racist. Yeah. And dinner. Yeah. It might be lunch, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. I think it's dinner. <laughs> um, all right. So let's... Uh, let's uh, Connery comes back for one. We still encompassed everything. Don't worry about that. We're, now we're on to uh, our favorite James Bond. Roger Moore. Roger Moore. People's James Bond. I know the worst. The worst moment is the double take in Moonraker from the pigeons. Oh, for me, it's it's Kananga blowing up like a balloon. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's comical and ridiculous. Yeah, but it's not intended. No, here's the thing, though. Like here's the thing, though. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Are you saying the pigeons aren't comical? I'm saying the pigeons are worse. The pigeons are more egregious. It's more egregious in a movie to make birds have a double take. <laughs> It's more egregious for birds to get so confused by a gondola, they can't tell that it's on land or water. They're birds. Yeah. Pigeons. The stupidest mm. bird, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe pigeons are super smart, and I don't know. The point is, a bird is not going to do a double take, and that's ridiculous. Now, when you look at the Kananga blowing up like a balloon and exploding everywhere... It's more ridiculous. I think it's less ridiculous. I think it's less somehow it's less physically ridiculous. Physically possible for a bird to do a double. Tick. No, it is not. It is not physically possible for a man to blow up like a rubber balloon. You are right. Wrong right now. No, I'm not. If you, I'm not saying that guys, a bird has right. the mental capacity to understand comic timing. James, but they can physically move their head like James that. Bonding fans. We need you to come to Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's what we need you to do. Yeah. I want to see some votes. Tag, uh, tag Matt Gorley and myself. And uh, I want you to vote with the hashtag, hashtag bond pigeon, hashtag bond blow up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are those bad hashtags? Uh, uh, hashtag we pigeon. Should we just say hashtag pigeon, hashtag Kananga? There's got to be a way There's to gotta be a lot one, of pigeons. One, one hashtag. Like, um... No, there has to be two hashtags. We've got to collect the votes. We can count the oh, hashtags. I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, how about hashtag pigeon double take? Hashtag pigeon double take. And hashtag Kananga balloon. <laughs> Kananga balloon. Yeah. All right. Hashtag, hashtag pigeon, pigeon double, double take. take. Hashtag, hashtag Kananga, Kananga balloon. balloon. Make sure so, to get your spelling right. Yeah. Yeah. Please, well, you're going to tag our names in it anyway. Yeah. I hope. Uh, and we're going to vote, and we'll have the results on July 12th. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> we're going to have the results. Which do you Remember, think is a more ridiculous moment in the movie? Do you think yeah. it's a pigeon doing a double take at a gondola on the street, or a man exploding like a balloon? <laughs> and it's interesting to note that both of them needed camera tricks to make it work, because didn't they like reverse the pigeon's yes. head? But yeah. also, the Kananga thing, they had to zoom in because it looked so ridiculous. That's why it gets grainier. 
the closer he, I did not to know that. Popping. I did yeah. not know that. I think that they took a, a shot at the wide shot and went, "This is we got to get away from this as soon as we can." Zoom hard in. <laughs> Zoom hard in. We got to get away. So anyway, how are they going to 4K that? <laughs> vote and then just vote for Kananga Balloon. Kananga Balloon. Uh, now let's let's talk about this. Someone has gone ahead and collected the 40 best James Bond quotes from Roger Moore. <laughs> I've, oh, my name's Bond. James Bond. Pretty good. Yeah. Is he? Are you? Yes. Beauty to a kill. And I'm Dick Tracy, and you're still under arrest. That's not really a quote. Wait, I'm not going to count that as a quote. You sprayed a fire hose. So this is bullshit. Oh, well, there's the best Roger Moore moment right there. Absolutely. Yeah. When this that Union Jack opens spy, up, spy, holy, holy yeah, forget shit. Forget about there it. There was not a dry eye in the house. Yeah. Everyone cried for England. Yeah. You could make a case that Roger Moore kissing is a cumulative worst Bond moment. <laughs> you don't find his kissing to be... We have weirdly have answered the question who we think is the best James Bond kisser. He's the worst, and he's one of my favorite Bonds. But there's something very Crypt Keeper about when he kisses that he's just... Well, there's something very acty about when Pierce Brown and kisses. Oh, I'm with you there. Yeah. Connery's a natural. He's a natural kisser. Yeah, of course yeah, he is. He's just, you know, he's but a I think little I really rough. just want, like, feel the stubble. I, I want, you know? I want Daniel Craig to kiss me. If, you know. Oh, sure. I'm afraid sure. of Blazing sure. B. I don't sure. want to, I don't want to, I don't want to sure. be where those have you been. Bet. Sure. You know what I There's mean? There's just something about Roger Moore that I feel like if he's using his tongue, it's to push her away. <laughs> By the way, license to pun, James Bond quotes. <laughs> I have to click on this. All right, sure. We'll start. I have to click on this just because it's uh, the the title really got me. You're doing a good job there, person on internet. And uh, well, that's not even a pun. Licensed a pun. Uh, You're right. (laughs) Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not able to search. Hang on. I got to search this because some reason I'm not able to. uh... So that's our best moment. We both agree on the best moment yeah. for Roger Moore. All right, while you're doing that, let's and then move let's on talk to Timothy Dalton. Dalton, okay, Slim Pickens here. Too. Oh, I know my best moment. I know the best moment already. Worst moment. Worst moment has to be from uh, from License to Kill, and I think it's it's probably when he has to fight a ninja for no reason. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's tough to argue. Pretty ridiculous. Isn't there not some ridiculous thing he has to do? That well, I mean, there's of course there's the uh, the pressure chamber. Oh, it always comes down to balloony people. Balloony people, rubber, rubber people. Why is there more than one balloony person I, I in this series that. of well revered movies? Yeah. Oh, here I was going to ask you a question. As a as a as a friend and an ally. Yeah. I've been looking at this poster. Yeah. From Russia with Love. Yeah. It's the A style. So what it is, it's the uh it's the one it's the one with all the red uh the pictures. I'll actually show I it know to you right now. Talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh should I buy it? It's first printing or what? I believe it is a first uh a first printing. I will uh I will show it to you. How much do they want for it? Nine fifty. Nine dollars and fifty cents. Nine hundred and fifty dollars. Come again. Oh, <laughs> oh Lucy. <laughs> Uh no, it's this. Uh, there's this place that advertises movie posters at Cinespia, and I was oh. while I was waiting, oh, yeah. I was like, I, I was I like, that. little slideshow before. The- yeah, uh, I was like, well, maybe I should lo- take a look. I'll do a, do a, do a quick search for some James Bond posters, mm-hmm. and, and this this one came up, and and I I was like, ooh, this is a nice this is a nice treat. I have those black and white prints you texted me about, remember? Oh, they're so the, the good. The Daniel Craig series. Yeah. Everybody, uh, go to Etsy and type in James Bond. There's a shit ton of really cool stuff, but there's yeah, a particularly there's a, a more. series of prints of uh, of James Bond, the specifically the Daniel Craig era movies of Skyfall, Casino Royale, and um, Quattro of Solace. Uh, and they're just really cool. They're silhouettes. They're black silhouettes. Yeah, but they're just well done. They're my just bro- My brother bottom for me your brother's a good guy yeah uh too bad he's my sister what i had to look this up but anyway let's uh 
Timothy Dalton, best and worst. Man, I'm having trouble with this. Did you do you think do you think that um Wait, I don't understand why you're not with me on this. On what? On him fighting a ninja. I think I'm with you. I'm just I feel like there's something sillier that I'm forgetting. <laughs> That crest Man blow fighting up. a I think, ninja? I think I'm going to have to... Oh. Although, the crest blowing up in the pressure chamber isn't as bad as Kananga. And at least makes sense. Um, I think my favorite moment is either the sniper sequence in Living Daylights. Yes, or, that's my favorite moment, too, uh, is when he says... When he's in the car and he says, it must have scared the Living Daylights yeah. out of her. But I also like the fight at the back back of the C-130 plane over Afghanistan. Oh, sure. Necros. Back when he's helping Al Qaeda, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's okay because they don't like ISIS, so we're we're back to buddies now. <laughs> um, what is the worst though? Doesn't he have a bad line? Ooh, doesn't he have a bad? Oh, uh, I can. <sighs> oh, I think it may be this. It's not necessarily the worst. It's just weird. It's a. Uh... Are we talking the movies or the actor? <laughs> it's anything in the movies because it's anything in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice honeymoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guillermo, uh, Guillermo, not Guillermo. Uh, Benicio, the, Benicio del Toro. Yeah. Uh, I was. I had the wrong del Toro. Oh no, I know what it is. <laughs> it's when uh, Pam Bouvier is ordering a reluctant martini for him and license to kill, and she goes shaken, not stirred, but she just she doesn't know that she's <laughs> making a jerk off motion. Timothy Balton talks talks. Timothy Balton. I'm gonna shoot myself in the face for saying that. Oh, is this from the documentary? This is uh, this is from something in 2012. He gets like really passionate in this, and I love it. He's so we're gonna play. We're gonna play a little nutty. In we're gonna play a, a clip of uh, of Timothy Dalton after this wonderful uh, what looks like a margarita restaurant <laughs> commercial finishes playing. That's gotta be a thing, right? Margarita restaurant. Try our new margarita sliders. Margaritas. Welcome to Margaritas. Hey, you want a Margaritas? Timothy Dalton on, on James Bond. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, that is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I'm kind of on board with you. Yeah. But there's the uh, the bullet ricochets making the Bond theme music, too. That's pretty bad. Uh, well, we have about a minute oh, left, I and I do want to ask you, because it is the 500-pound elephant in the room, uh, is we're coming up with 50th year of, uh, of, of James Bond. It's actually passed, I think. Yeah, yeah I know. It actually, a few, a yeah. month ago, but uh, uh, the celebration continues. <laughs> yes, it does. Are you, are and the new one's coming out. Yeah. I don't know when you're releasing this, but... It, the new one's coming out pretty yeah. soon, and I believe it's terrific. Well, it must, it, it must be... I love him. Rewarding. It must be. It must be fun to be it's part okay. of this. Care. Friends, if you're listening to this, that, well, you know, look this up on YouTube. When I did it, it's 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 special to be part of something that's lasted fifty years. Says the man who's also oh, that's in the best. Who. That's the best Dalton moment when he's skiing with oh, no, sure. no skis. Yeah, for sure. See, he's in. James Bond, and he's in Doctor Who. Yeah. Because James Bond's a Time Lord. You touched on about the Disney thing of always trying to do something, mm -hmm. a sequel better. And I think that's one of the reasons why Cubby Broccoli, who is passed away now, but was the uh, original producer of the Bond series with Harry Saltzman, and then became the sole producer in partnership with MGM. And his family is still in... in, in pretty much in control anyway of the, of the movies. They have always strived to make them striven, I suppose the word is not striven. striven. Strive, I mean, I did correct striven. you, sir. Um, so, yeah. Not simply to exploit the name or the history. They've always tried to make them as good as they can possibly be. And I think that's why, that's to be applauded and I respect that enormously. And I like them very much. They're terrific people. Ooh. And hip hip hurrah. 50 years. It's great. It's a long time? Yeah. Wow, I enjoyed good. seeing a wild-haired yeah. Timothy Dalton just letting it grow, <laughs> letting what's left of it grow. Mm -hmm. uh, license to pun. Uh, what do you think the first pun in this is going to be? Uh, part of me thinks it may be the Christmas one, but... 
Do you think they're going to start in order, or do you think they're going to start just with the way? If they start in order, what's the first one? Uh, he uh, my, late for my a funeral. Friend's just dead. Late no. for a funeral. Isn't it? Oh no, that's Thunderball. Yeah. Well, what when he passes the when he knocks out the chauffeur, kills the chauffeur, yeah. and hands him off? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Wait for a funeral. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I quit. You can't quit. Aren't you in the wrong room, Mr. Ball? They're starting with Thunderball. Not from where I'm standing. You have That's a, not a nasty pun. habit of surviving. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? But Wait, these aren't, these aren't puns. These are just <laughs> witticisms. Such a big touch. Power Sheer magnetism. There, there. That's, that's a pun. pun. I'm devastated. What would I ever do without you? As far as I can remember, James, you've never had me. You two do make a charming couple, though. You're both, what's the expression? Damaged goods. Mm. One of my friends sent this one out. There. She's just dead. That's a that's a great. One. Oh, that's this is a great Roger Moore moment. You missed Mr. Bond. Did I? Oh. The mission. Kill her. She means nothing to me. Shoot him. That's nothing. That doesn't mean nothing to me. Right. I've had enough of this. Alright, we this is a seventy one. Seventy one they I just for the record I want to point out this is seventy one A. Yeah. He had gone seventy one B and then seventy one A. Uh Why it? just do hundred and one. You can't sleep <laughs> is the name of this fellow. And uh, let's see what else he's got on here. Uh, he's got best movie trailers, and it seems to be uh, all... This poor guy lives, lives in an old refrigerator. <laughs> he can't sleep. That's the point. All right, I got a good question before yeah. we move on to Brosnan. Yeah. Uh, from Michael Reinhardt. Story-wise, if you could redo one James Bond movie, which would you remake to be contemporary? So let's say Daniel Craig is in any one of the classic movies updated to fit him. Oh, you're just changing the question. I don't think so. Story-wise, if you could redo one James Bond story movie, wise, which would you I'm assuming I can have the same actors in it. I can see a contemporary James Bond movie with with, with the same Connery? actors. With Connery? Current day Connery? No. I, we got a time machine. We can't go back and no, update the story, Matt Gorley. reality. Come on, because this could be done. You're let's... being a balloon right now. You're being a balloon you're person. You're being a pigeon <laughs> double take. <laughs> it's got to be Daniel Craig, or at least a new Bond. I believe we've been t- we've touched on this before, then, haven't we? Did we say on Her Majesty's Secret? Service? I believe we both did. I think we yeah. did. Yeah, all right, and we'll say it again. Yeah, I'll say it right the fuck right now. Okay, on Her Majesty's Secret <laughs> Service. Uh, Alex J. Lampwick <laughs> says we know if the Matt Gorley was Bond, his signature drink would be a Valencia orange refresher. <laughs> what would Matt Mira's be? By the way, I get so. Why many did tweets. you say Mira? <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> That's the way they spelled it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know it's Matt Myra. I think he means you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I get so many tweets and Instagram. Tags. I see so many uh, orange people. Valencias. <laughs> people tagging you with the orange Valencia. Oh, uh, we have a friend named Tara who works at a uh, Starbucks, and she now brings them the packets to me regularly. I oh, just really? One You're just I loving it. Here. Yeah. All right. So, what would your signature drink be? My signature drink would probably be a, a, a five-hour energy with a chaser of Rockstar oh, zero bo- carb. Bottoms up, friend. Uh, I gotta add some no, really. My signature, it, my my Starbucks drink, which I believe he's asking for, mm-hmm. is a nice venti americano with two sweet and low. Okay, no milk. All right, nice and dark. Um, okay, so on to uh, Brosnan. Mm-hmm. We know the worst moment. Yeah, we have both of them yeah. in our head. The best moment. Oh boy. Oh God. Oh boy. The best moment in a... Oh, I know what it is. I'm going to probably say the the tank sequence from GoldenEye. That's really cool. My moment is not even a real moment, but I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed seeing it so much. The uh, part in Die Another Day, I can't believe I'm saying this, where he's in a, when he's in that virtual reality training yeah. place, and you think that Money Penny is dead, uh-huh. and uh, he's he's him and Robinson are going through killing people. Uh-huh. I enjoyed that because uh-huh. had that been like because one the first time I saw the movie, I didn't know that that sure. wasn't going to happen. I thought that was awesome. Uh huh. And then they ruined it. Okay. By making a virtual reality. Yeah. But it was. Oh no! You know what? I'll say the damn sequence at the opening of Goldeneye is really good. That's a hell of an opening. <laughs> I believe that that dam is in uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Is that a good movie? Yes, it's That's a great right movie. Here. I it's a really it good out. movie. All right, before we move on to uh, Daniel Craig, uh, uh, 
Chris Climax says, dreading the all more finale, you guys. I've tried. Rewatched three mores for Jan. That's not a question. <laughs> three mores. <laughs> Lamenting. All right. Um, All right, let's move on. Oh, rate the gun barrels. That's a good question. But before we rate the gun barrels, uh-huh. uh, we got we to gotta jump to Daniel Craig. Best moment? Ooh, Daniel Craig, who do we think is... we? Here's, here's how we can say this. Daniel yeah. Craig is this podcast's best James Bond. Our favorite is Roger Moore. You keep saying that for me. Uh, it is. Daniel Craig is my favorite. No, James he can't Bond. be your favorite. Yes, he can. You can't have the new guy be your favorite. He's three movies in. He's earned his stripes. He's new. He's he's been in. He's more... in the two thousands. <laughs> he's in the two thousands, Matt. The two thousand one through ten. We're in a second decade. <laughs> he spanned two decades. He's done three movies. That's... Two decades, three movies. You know what that is? That's a lazy Bond. What are you talking about? He's he's done more than two of the other Bonds that I could technically claim as my favorite. Yeah, but they did one in like three years. One and then you know I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, but you'd per be movie. fine if I said Lazenby was my favorite Bond and he's only done one movie. I wouldn't be fine. I'd have a problem with that. What I wanted you to agree with me. I, I that's always, what I that's what I want to say. Honey, look. <laughs> <laughs> I know my favorite moment, hands down. You do. Yeah, I'm trying to think of my worst. Yeah, all right. I got, oh, I, I got I, my both. favorite moment. All right. Okay, I'll go my favorite moment first, and then you'll give your worst moment first. Oh, okay. My favorite moment is uh, the parkour scene in Casino Royale. Okay. Where he is running uh, to chase the bomb maker. Okay. My least favorite moment is whatever that quip is he says after he throws the knife. Like, I got into some <laughs> deep water or whatever the hell that thing I is. I think we agreed that it's sorry. I was or, in, I fell through some ice and I yeah. ended up underwater pretty far. It also might be face replacement CG in Skyfall. Face replacement CG in Skyfall. Is your face replacement CG as good as your Wigdar? Uh, so far, <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. it's not as it's not as uh, it's not as refined yet. Well, no, it's just the circumstances are less. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they don't occur as much. You don't sure. see it as much unless sure. it's really good. Your wig dar is oh, amazing, it's tremendous. It's yeah. it's the best in the business. No one in here is wearing a wig. I can tell you that right. <laughs> well, actually, one person is. But I'm not going to say who. It could be me. It could be one of you. Do you know that up until very recently, I did not know that uh, uh, Jewish Orthodox women were wearing wigs. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought that all their hair was so shiny. Yeah, no. Nope. I had no idea. Yeah. I had no legs. idea. I wasn't Full allowed to see their skirts. hair. Full denim skirts. Yeah. On the treadmill. Uh, all right, your best moment. Mine is the parkour sequence, but more specifically, the minute the bomber throws the gun at him, he catches it without flinching and throws it back at him. That was the moment oh. I knew I was in love. That's funny, because my, if we're going to break down the parkour scene, it's when he goes through the wall. Yeah, When he goes through too. the drywall. Yeah. That, that, that double header of those two things happening probably within the same two minutes. Yeah. Come on. Can you remember uh, being in the theater? Just going, what's happened? What, yeah. is, what has yeah. happened? Yeah. I've, ju- yeah. I've gone from Die Another Day to this. Oh, oh, Die Another Day is such a piece of shit. Oh, man. I remember that day. I, I remember that day, too. Yeah. It gave us the greatest theme song of all time. Die Another Day. <laughs> Um, and uh, I suppose my worst moment in those movies. God, he doesn't have many. No, he, he doesn't. doesn't have many. It could be the movie, though. Something yeah, in the movie. I think it is Quantum of Solace. The whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Quantum of Solace. I think my least favorite part. Oh well. I don't know if I can say. I feel like he he uh, is a little too haphazard with his um, with his Walther in uh, Skyfall when they're in the dragon pit. Yeah, I feel like he should he should go get it back. Okay, that's that's that's, that's a, my that's only a criticism. tiny nitpick. That's, that's my pretty only good. nitpick. That says a lot about that series. What would you do if you briefly ended up in an elevator with Ava Green? This is from Will Paris. <laughs> oh my God, I'd faint and pee my pants. I would just say, uh, hey, great job. I would say, hi, <laughs> could I, could, could you, do you want to, oh, flo- <laughs> your floor is here. Your floor is here? Bye. <laughs> In my brain, you had just delivered flooring. <laughs> 
the Scandinavian I carpet tiles. I forgot you were in an elevator. Here's your little <laughs> modular carpet tiles. Hope you make a fine little Burberry job. Okay, bye. Why, why have you left already? <laughs> what am I going to do with the tiles? These, these connect. These connect and you, they're real durable. <laughs> I'm the other guy with you. <laughs> this is my friend Matt, hey. which is coincidentally my name. Let's, don't worry about it. We get it all the time back at the office. Yeah. Do you want us to know? Okay. So you just, did you, you got to sign for this, though. <laughs> did she sign for it? I didn't see. Remember when you wore that red dress? Oh, my God. It was great. Um, it was great. Did you see her in the new Sin City? I haven't seen it yet. No, I saw a poster of it her. It looks really, her boobies look good. Oh. oh, she's right here. We're talking about her. She was on your Nerdist podcast. How did that go? I don't even... I remember it scheduled. I don't know if it happened. I have no <sighs> idea. I literally have no idea. Oh, here's a good question. Yes. Chris Dibble. Dibble. If they do another On Her Majesty's Secret Service with Craig, who should play Tracy and her father? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a goodie. That is a great one. Antonio Bandera should be the father. Get out of my life. <laughs> and Melanie Griffiths should play Tracy. Um, Dude, you're in my head. <laughs> uh, for realsies. Um, um, mm. I like that Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt's I wish, great. I wish you could she just is bring great. Ava Green She back. is great. Uh, uh, Emily Blunt's great. Emily Blunt might be a great answer. That might be the best answer. And you know who plays her father? Who? Tilda Swinton. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna of Tarth. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Just get Charles Dance back in a Bond movie. That's uh, all I what about uh, what about uh, Garcia? A- Andy, Andy Garcia, Andy, Andy Andy yeah, Garcia would be a great good. dad. That'd be right? really good. Yeah, I'm not crazy. No, I'm in. That's gonna that. work. Well, then let's recast that whole movie. Let's put Charles Dan- Dance as Blofeld. I know you want. Who do you want? You wanted. I wanted Peter Dinklage. Right. Fair or enough. or uh, or uh, or I, well, I wanted Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not going to happen. Well, then it goes to mine. We're going to well, it goes to Paul me. Giamatti. No. <laughs> How about Irma Bunt? Was that, uh, that was her name. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might just stick Kate Mulgrew as her Orange Is the New Black <laughs> yeah. character and just throw her in there. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> now, see, in in the book, Irma Bunt and Blofeld, if I'm not mistaken, were married. Wow. And he. Bond kills both of them, I think, with his bare hands. So you got to believe that Charles Dance is going to be married to this woman. Hmm. Yeah, who do you want? Who do you want in that? Hey, may I? Yeah. Tilda Swinton. Ser- that was a serious yes. answer. Yes. That was a serious that answer. That would be amazing. Right? That would be amazing. Right? She would make a great Bond villain. Of course she own. would. Make her the new Blofeld. Has there been a, ma- like a female lead villain? Well, kind of. In uh, The World Is Not Enough, Sophie Marceau. She's been the closest. No. She's mm. she's the mastermind. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, don't I just so. always say no without thinking. Well, here's my here's hashtag Kananga balloon. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag double pigeon. No, no, no. Pigeon no, no, no. pigeon. No, 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 no. You've already forgotten it. Don't remember it. You don't need to look it up. Kids, go back. Hash pack. Hash pack. Hash pack. It's hashtag Kananga balloon. Hashtag <laughs> double take pigeon. Double take pigeon. No, it's not. Oh, isn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, what there's no it? way to remember. Oh, there's no pigeon way. double there's, take. Either it's one will either take. one will work. It's hashtag either pigeon one double will take. Work. <laughs> um, that's a dream cast though. Tilda Swinton, Tilda Charles Swinton, Dance, Charles Dance, Emily Blunt, Emily Daniel Blunt, Craig, Dan Craig, Broccoli's. I know you're listening. Andy to this. Garcia. Oh, what other what other roles you got? Who's Hillary Bray? Um, Who's we got the M. We got Money Penny. We got Q. Hillary Bray. We got time for someone real stuffy in English. Uh, Who's that going to be? Oh, let me ask you this. Is is uh, in our movie, Ray Fiennes, is he M? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's you got to take the cast you're given, and I got no complaints. Yeah. That's good stuff. Well, I just didn't know if we were going to like be like, oh, well, let's just throw Judy Dench in there for fun. Oh, God. And we can, who's Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> She's got to be English. Like, that character's from northern England. Doesn't have to be, but... um, Lily Allen. Get out of here. Get out of town. Do you know her brothers in Game of Thrones? Yeah, I do. All right. I knew that. Hashtag Kananga Balloon. Um, <laughs> Listen, if you agree with Matt Gorley, please uh, dial. hashtag Pigeon text, Double Take. Text Kananga Balloon to... Hey, uh, uh, ask your parents' permission before you dial, kids. Yeah. Uh, Service charge regular rates apply. Also, text message rates apply. Uh, hashtag uh, 
pigeon double take for free. You can do hashtag pigeon double take for free. Hashtag Canega Balloon is going to cost you. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> it is true. It's going to pay. You can't. No. You don't it, know that. No, if you, you don't if know you, that. If you text that, it'll donate to your favorite charity. What? That's it just, it knows you're just your lying. <laughs> it knows your charity. It's charity intuitive. Um, I want to. I want to. I want to know the rest. Who's Hillary Bray? It's got to be Clive. Clive Owen. He's getting a little like dis- he's of a distinguished age now, in a good way. Or because he would have been a good Bond. Or yeah, Colin Firth. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, you're that's right. way yeah. more like. Oh my god! That's way Why more don't like. They make this movie. That's way more professory, right. sort of. Let's like do nerdy. Ruby. Let's do Ruby because that's the only other major character in there, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm looking at the cast list right now. So, uh, up top we have uh, Dale Craig as James Bond. Yeah. We have um, who do we agree? With? Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt's gonna be Tracy. We have uh, Blofeld is Charles Dance. Charles Dance. No exceptions. Uh, Gabriel Ferretti is going to be Andy Garcia. Uh, Irma Blunt is going to be played by Tilda Swinton mm. in, a, in a brilliant stroke of Matt Meyer casting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Money Penny, of course, is going to be our, our current Money Penny. Um, Hillary Bray, we're going to give to Colin for. Yeah, should sure. we call him now and tell Let's him that he's it. got it? Yeah. Uh, M is, of course, our current M. Uh, Campbell. Who's Campbell? Campbell? Oh, is he is the, Campbell the, the butler? The, no, I think is he the blonde-headed like lackey that helps him out? Who he just died? I think actually. Campbell has no lines. Yeah, that are did. clickable. I don't think he has any lines either. Uh, yeah, we got to do that guy. You know who I'm talking about? The guy with the bleached hair that helps him put the equipment in the crane that carries it up to that. Oh yes. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. I got it. Who? Jeremy Renner. Do you think he'd take a part that small yeah. with no lines? We're casting it right now. All right. We just did it. Okay. We're going to get his hair a little blonder. Gosh. All right. uh, Q, we have Grunther. Oh, Grunther is the... Um... No, wait. Is, is Grunther the guy we're talking about? Did we just cast Grunther? Oh, maybe. What's hmm. his real name? His real name is is uh, Yuri Berinkio. No, I think he no. may be that guy with the glasses that's their, like, ski henchman, you know? Raphael, no. played by Terrence Mountain. No. We just got to do Ruby now. Yeah, I think we did it. But we haven't done Ruby. Uh, that would be Meg Ryan 20 years ago. She sure. looks just like her. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. She's got to be whimsical. She must have a certain amount of whimsy. <laughs> oh, hello, Ian. Uh, I'm only stopping in for a second. Oh, I course. left my chest fields here. <laughs> oh, well, oh, here in the scold case that's initialed. That's a trap if I've ever seen one. <laughs> nice try, Matthew. Mira. Oh, no, Ian, no, you that's said it wrong. That's how it's spelled, you, you see. said it wrong, but the British, here's a fact for you. Yes, Mom? Uh, the British are the only people, the only country I've ever been to where across the board whenever anybody read my name. They said it correctly. Oh. What a, I'm a gentleman of letters. Let, let me see it written. Matthew Myra. So you know that I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> right? Right? Yes, yeah, Ian. Yes. Hashtag Kananga Balloon. <laughs> what? No. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ian, I come back. What about the pigeon double tape? I'm flying. I'm flying. Do you see any pigeons? Are they looking twice at you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt, you just missed. Sir Ian Fleming. No way. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I just... I gave, I, a, I gave promoted into knighthood already uh, while you were gone. I was. I didn't even leave the room. I took off my glasses and was rubbing my eyes yeah. well, for like 20 seconds. I didn't see you. I just saw Ian Fleming. I don't even... God. You got up. You got up. And he was right here. Oh, and he also said, by the way, for the record... Uh-huh. And I'll he, listen to this. 
<laughs> he yeah. went away uh-huh. screaming hashtag pitch and double take. It was incredible. Really? Yes. That seems like a huge lie. No, it's not. It's okay. not. You wouldn't know, though, because you weren't here. All right. I also feel like Ian Fleming for you is like a vampire reflection. You listen back to the podcast and you don't hear it. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know what you guys are talking about. I know he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. God, we're having so much fun here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we just cast the movie Ruby. It was Ruby. played by Angela Scular. Who's she gonna be? She's got a, who's someone fun. Who's fun these days? Who's got a good time going on? Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna say you're pretty good at this. I'm gonna leave this to you. Up. Oh, I know who I want. Who playing her? Heather Ann Campbell. You don't know Heather? She's great. What is she in? She's around town. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, she's a writer? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? I think we got to name someone that people just know off the top of their heads. Kristen Shaw. <laughs> I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. We did it. Here's a good question. All the Bonds get into a battle royale. Who wins? Who dies first? Dino Hall. Who dies first? Oh, who dies first? Well, Timothy Dalton dies No, Roger last. Moore dies first. Okay, well, Roger Moore <laughs> dies first. Wait, are they the age they are now? No, I think, let's say that they're at their prime. <laughs> Everybody's in their prime? Yes. Yeah, so, you think Roger Moore dies first? Yeah, I, as much as He's I the him. slowest motherfucker on the and, planet. Yeah. Of okay. course he dies first. He dies first. I think Brosnan dies second. Brosnan dies second. I will back you up. No, I'm not going to back you up. I'm going to say Lazenby dies second. Brosnan, I feel like Brosnan's no, James Bond. Here's where no, here's where I'm going. No, here's where I'm going Lazenby with this though. Throw a punch. Listen, listen what? to me. Yeah. I feel like Brosnan's James Bond He's sort of sits in back. The corner. He yeah. sits All back right. and lets, lets it go. All right, but I still think Lazenby takes Dalton. But as he sits back, and a, bl- a fatal blow is dealt to our Timothy Dalton. George Lazenby is left with Sean Connery and Daniel Craig and and a cowering yeah. Pierce Brosnan. I think Connery makes a V-line for Brosnan and just brutally beats him to death with his hands. I would say it's Lazenby gets the p- most pissed at Brosnan and goes over and kills him. <laughs> but I think both then Connery and Craig go, we should... Take care of this guy. He's a. He's a. This guy's a. They team up. Uh, yeah, he's they an X up. factor. We gotta get. Yeah. We gotta kill him. And they it's like kill a. Him. It's like a. It's like a late '80s Royal Rumble where yeah. you're like, oh my god, we gotta take care of the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think Craig and Connery just kick the shit out of each other until they're both like backs against the wall, sit- seated down, just laughing with each other, coughing up blood. Yeah. And they mm-hmm. die. But, of old age. But yeah, because it can Con- never be Connery solved. Dies just a little bit soon. <laughs> Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it happens. That's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, we gave you an hour and a half episode. Almost. How long was <laughs> this episode? Hour fourteen. Hour fourteen. Oh, we should probably wrap it up. We All gotta right. wrap it up. The kids are already bored with us. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that last rate the gun barrels? Yeah, rate the gun barrels. And then we'll, and then we'll close this. Sure. Out. Worst yeah. gun barrel. Off the top of my head, I'm going to say it's the guy that isn't even Sean Connery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we've probably got seven gun barrels, really. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. I got yeah, the, the guy uh, with the hat. I guess. I, oh, the, no, the worst one is the time the bullet flies at us oh, in, uh, in Die awesome. Another Day. Yeah. That one's uh, the hands down the worst. I mean, there's a there's a mega gift of all. Now, how do you feel about the blood dripping down in Casino Royal? Do you like it's more of a it's um, it's less of it's like the wavy favorite. blood, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's not my favorite. Uh okay, I'm going to say his turn, his turn and shoot is the best. There's, okay? Yeah, and the other no thing question. too, if you watch Daniel Craig's, I think it's his Quantum of Solace gun barrel at the end, if you watch it long enough, he walks away. There's got to be a YouTube supercut of these, right? Yeah. Let's do that and then we'll you guys can watch along. Everybody t- pause 
go look up the YouTube supercut of James Bond and the Gun Barrel series. Now we're going 2062 uh, to 2000, and uh, oh, this is exciting. Oh. Okay, guys, uh, part of World Cup, just uh, really think Spain's going to go yeah. all the way this year. Full screen, that bitch. Well, I don't know if this is exactly what we want. USA because Sunday at 530 on why is it seven and a half minutes long? Oh, is it? It's probably. Oh, it's the cold opens. Oh no, here we go. All right, so we're right now we're watching. Just walking like a song. The slowest man in the world. It's still pretty cool. Yeah. He does a. He does. He doesn't turn. He jumps. Yeah. Uh, from Russia with Love. Here we go. I love this movie it's so much. Getting solidified. Same walking same dead man. Dude. Yep. Same jumping. He kind of whips the bullet at you like he's uh, yeah, like he's swinging it out of the. Gun. He's got one of those uh, you know those uh, things that I didn't know the name of. A high lie thing. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. The name of Sixty-four. Goldfinger. We still is walking. Is that Connery? No. Connery doesn't do it until you only live with twice, I believe. Uh, I think it's Thunderball, isn't it? Well, one of us is going to be wrong. Yeah. Hashtag Thunderball. Just remember, everybody, if you like James Bond, vote hashtag Pigeon Double Pig. <laughs> <laughs> that's Connery, that's right? That's Connery. Yep. It is Thunderball. So now right. you can trust Oh, me. and that's a turn. That's a yeah. turn. And a, a pivot. A pivot? He's almost into a lunge. Yeah. I like how you can hear the difference in the recorded James Bond theme. How right. they do a different one every time. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You know, that tries, ooh, very dark. Yeah, real dark. Contrast. Turn. Same, same pivot. Same footage, exact. Though. Same. But it's black and white. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. It is black and white. Guys, we're learning a lot to yeah. about each other. It's good that we did this. Kind of about pigeons that may or may not uh, do double takes. Yeah. They're the worst. Hashtag pigeon double pick. Okay, lazy and B. Listen to the like the tempo's different. Yeah. Ooh, this one's swankier. Boom, boom. Oh. oh, you got a harpsichord? Look at he's just like nothing going on. He might as well be whistling. And then Oh, oh that's pretty two, sharp. A full knee. Yeah. He takes sharp. a full knee, ladies. I'd love and to gentlemen. know how many takes they had to do for each one to probably, get the right one. Probably one. No way. That's how good he is. Diamonds are forever. They, they Diamonds are perfect. They use the same, same one. one, but they've added a reflective gun barrel situation oh, yeah. here. They've added a uh, shine, a sheen, if you will. Okay. You know they weren't going to get Connery in for a new gun barrel sequence on that. All right, Roger Moore's first one. I love this, like, kind of disco y. Yeah. You hear a wah pedal back there? Oh. oh, with an arm. He's holding his arm. Yeah, that's interesting. Every one of them has their own little unique take. It just occurred to me we are now going to watch about 15 more of these. <laughs> well, as long as we're calm, <laughs> it's fine. This is the same, same one. Same one. Yeah. Yep. Man he with holds, the golden his, holds the his arm. He's got to redo it at Everybody's some happy. Because right? the fashion alone is going to change. This could be the most infuriating segment in podcast history. I don't or know. Or the best. Yeah. I think if they're watching along with us. And they should be. But I, it's stunning to me. I, I would not have realized that had I not heard them. Oh, that is the new one. Full on bell bottom. Oh, yeah. Full Spy on bell bottom. Me. And he double. The cut of his tux is different. He's now holding a gun with two hands. That's the first time for that, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Two handed gun hold from Roger Moore. Okay. Opening up underwater, of course. Submarines are going to go into a big. Moonraker. He just comes out in a spacesuit. I would not. Like, I wouldn't. That's the same one. I would not have really guessed or noticed that they're so different. Yeah. That the James Bond themes are so different with this gun barrel. Yeah. It's really interesting to me. For your eyes only. <laughs> Same one. Oh, but the an Bill extra disco tune. Bill Conti. <laughs> Oh, I forgot they did a callback to Honor Magic Secret Service. They can't use it for Octopus. They can't. They do. They do. They might as well go all the way to Vito to Kill. 
Yeah, because when the Bonds are like late in their tenure, they're like, I'm not redoing that. Yeah. You they're like, get someone you can else. Go fuck yourself. Get the guy in the hat. Few to a Kill, 1985. Does he redo it? No. Yes. No, I don't think yes. so. I think it's just contrasted differently. No, that's the same Same one. exact one. Yeah. You're right. I love it. Oh, I got to watch this movie again. I bet you I've seen this Bond movie the most. View to a Kill. I am very excited now. I remember Dalton's being good. Timothy Dalton. Looks looks good in the tux. This... Okay. He's the ah. one... You- He's the one you most know something's about to happen because he's too, hiding yeah, the he's gun. Yeah, he's hiding the gun. Too obvious. Too wide a stance. Too he, wide both, a stance yeah, on his. Both he and Lazenby are like, might as well be whistling like, <laughs> like nothing's going to happen yep, here. I'm not going to shoot you. Don't worry. I haven't got a gun. His is the same. 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 Yeah. Somehow a different color. It's a good shoot, but it's not natural. You know what's coming. It's a wide stance, too. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Yep, this is the worst sound. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty good. Yeah, you gotta handle That is Brosnan. pretty good. He just fucking drops his shoulder and kills you. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It's a good one. I wonder if his change. I like that it, a right? lot. I like that a lot. Ah, that's, see? That's a good sounding. Same one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gunshot has an echo. Yeah. Gunshot has an echo that wasn't there previously. The gun barrel does some movements. I really like that. Don't care for this. Here we are. The world is not enough. 1999. Same. Same. Do you think it's in their contract? You only have to do this once? Uh, good question. Not necessarily. Look <laughs> at the glasses. Here we are. Dying of the day. This is when the bullet is going to fly at our face. Same one. Yeah. Eat boy. Oh. Listen, I like that they tried something different. I don't. Cassina Royal's coming up. Cassina Royal. Keine Sorge. Das zweite Mal. Yep. Different language. Sure. We'll take it. Yeah. Hey, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. This a, an actual gun barrel looking. This is the only one where it's motivated by the story. It's amazing. Amazing. Cassina Royale 2006 German. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh, we don't oh, get Quantum? Do the, Google the Quantum Gun Barrel, because you got to see that. It's the one where what he a, walks away. What a, what, a, what a tease. What a cock tease that was. Uh, quantum Gun Barrel. And we'll do Skyfall, too, because it's got that 50th anniversary logo. Quantum Gun Barrel, here we go. Full screen, man. Watch closely. Oh, he yeah, away. he does walk away. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's real. That's pretty it's good. It's real brutish, though. That's pretty he's good. Walking like I feel a like thug. he's the winner, but for Casino Royale. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm going to just real quick look up his Skyfall gun barrel sequence, and uh, we'll have a final message for I you I have here. to hand it to that Brosnan one, though. I'd put that maybe second. Gun barrel. All right, here we are. The official... Skyfall gun barrel, which I believe they put after the movie. Yeah, they correct? Did. Yeah. It's yeah. about time they br- they better have this at the beginning. Full screen. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to see just, it sometimes? Just be here. Sure. That one's pretty oh, good. Oh, that one is pretty good because it slows yeah. down. He's really taking his time. Yeah. James Bond will return. You know what? James Bonding will return. That's right, with the man with the golden gun. I <laughs> really wish that music had kept going, and it didn't. Uh, uh, should we talk about okay. who our guests are? Yes, let's talk about we're who gonna our guests are. We're going to have uh, Jeff From Davis. Harmontown, yeah. uh, Greg Proops. <laughs> and Jeff Davis will be in. That's what's taking so long, too. Is yeah, we're getting everybody schedules because a lot of us are out of town and in town and half out of town and out of town and in town, and then it's a lot of fun. But come to Synespia at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery Please, on July 12th. 
yourself. Out. Get tickets. Get your tickets now. And uh, I think before we go, uh, let me just say one last thing. And Matt, you don't need to sound off on this at all. And that is uh, hashtag Kananga Balloon. Oh, okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Hashtag, hashtag stop, stop, Pigeon stop, stop. Double Take. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't forget to hashtag Pigeon Double Take. Maybe we'll use your tweet on At Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Now leaving Nerdist.com.